Next segment we're going to get into is our knee drills. Um, these are good drills that you guys can do anywhere. Um, our guys love them. The first, the first uh, drill in that segment is going to be our funnel hands. What we're looking for is good funneling to the belly button with the elbows out. Build a routine of where I'm transferring that baseball every time. I'm funneling that ball right to my belly button. I'm looking the baseball in. I've got a good chest angle over the ball. I'm creating a good routine. Muscle memory. Drew, can you speak on this one of why you have them going up to that bow and arrow real quick? So the bow and arrow is done because I want to make sure that the ball is front of the elbow. When I throw, that's gonna maximize quickness and carry on the baseball. In the infield, we cannot create a big arm motion because that takes time away from getting the ball out of our hand. All right, that's enough. The next, we're gonna work volleyball feeds. You're gonna notice the guys catching the baseball and keeping their hands in motion and getting it out. Everything we do in the infield, we want to stay in motion because that keeps us athletic. We want a good feed right to the chest, as firm as we can get it, keep the hands in motion. This is double play, this is ground balls, this is pop flies when we are trying to make a quick transfer. Good. The next drill we're gonna work, piggybacks off this, it's the redirection hands. When I catch and turn a double play, I do not want to catch the ball. My, my palm is open, my fingers are pulled back. I am redirecting the baseball um, from the glove into the hand. My hand is gonna be at a three o'clock position. I am going to keep my hands moving. So we're piggyback right off the volleyball feeds into the transfer. They're keeping their hands moving, bringing it right through the chest. This works well turning a double play. We want to redirect the baseball to get it out quicker and more efficient. You guys are good? Gloves on? Now we're going to work through our pick, our, our pick system. We're going to go forehand to backhand pick. This is really good because, again, creates good muscle memory of looking down that arm and stabilization as I work through the baseball. I want to stay in my body, I want to be stabilized. When I can do that, I can be more efficient getting the ball out of my glove and into, uh, into first base. They're picking through the ball, they're holding it. I really want to feel moving that pinky to the sky in this position as a forehand. Bruce, speak to this real quick for me. His head down on the ball over there. That is a big pet peeve of mine. When our guys are working in the infield, they are to look the ball in every time. Get that chin to the chest. It's something small, but it makes me more efficient catching the ball. Let's go back in. Here, we'll work thumb to the sky. Again, our head is looking right down the arm as we move through the baseball. All these drills are for a purpose. We don't do them just to do them. Hey, to help out Coach Brew and jump in, what I like to say sometimes is take the button of that cap that we all have on top of our hat and show that right back to where the ball came from. So you'll see these guys exaggerating their head down on the ball on those forehands and those backhands to show that button of the cap, button of the cap.